Hi guys, it's Sarah here. Today I am sharing um, a process video for a page in my traveler's notebook. I am using my July 2018 Studio Calico traveler's notebook. So if you're not familiar with these notebooks, they actually come with pattern papers already included inside. Um, so I just flipped through and I found a pattern and some colors that I thought would look really good with my photos. And um, I've actually been working kind of out of order um, in this notebook, so I'm using it to kind of just record some personal stories for June. And because I kind of go based on color and pattern, um, I've just been kind of flipping through and finding backgrounds that work well with my photos, and then I just end up adding a date to um, all of my stories and then they're kind of out of order but that doesn't bother me since I know they're all from June and it's not going to be a big deal when I'm flipping through it in the future so um, that's just kind of how I've been documenting in this notebook so I'm documenting um, kind of our first barbecue of the summer and I pulled out a couple of these old Kelly Perky stamp sets. She definitely knows what she's doing when she um, designs these food themed stamp sets. I always love um, kind of the sentiments and the different illustrations that she puts in these stamp sets. So I have a couple of my favorite here. And I thought I would stamp out the sentiment um, and include it on the left hand side, but I end up kind of scrapping that idea. Um, I've kind of learned my lesson with um, not cleaning my stamp sets. I've been so bad in the past with not cleaning my stamps. And I just ordered myself a chamois so that I can do a better job of doing that. Um, but I have quite a few stamps that I do need to clean and that was one of them. So I wanted to stamp it using a lighter colored ink, but it just ended up being a huge hassle. So I decided to scrap that idea and I'm moving in with this other stamp set. I think it's called Taste Like Summer. It's another um, Kelly Perky stamp set that came out probably a couple of years ago. And I just stamped this directly in the middle of the right side. And then I'm going to go in with a little um, circle here that says on the grill and it has this cute little barbecue in the middle. And I want that to be placed right above the taste like summer sentiment. So you'll see me kind of mask off the area um, below the circle. I kind of want it to run into the words. So I'm just going to mask it off a little bit and then stamp it on there and I'm using some um, yellow Kelly Perky ink to do that. So here I'm just going to mask this off and stamp it down. It's a great way to kind of create a cluster of stamps. Um, again, I'm big on like making sure that my stamps aren't like floating and I really like kind of the layered look. So um, having them kind of run into each other by um, using a masking technique. I think that's just a really neat effect that can look really good um, on your layout. So I'm bringing in this little watermelon stamp and I'm using um, a green ink for the outline and then I'm stamping uh, the center with pink. I kind of love how that looks um, on the corners there. I think it kind of balances out the page. I knew that I didn't want a lot on the right hand side since that pattern on the left is just so busy. I love all the colors. I love that pattern but definitely I needed to balance it with not doing a lot on the right side. So now I'm going to bring in a label. These are Kelly Perky labels and I thought I would use this large red um, this red, large red piece, but I felt like it was just a little bit too um, overwhelming. I felt like it was kind of dark and bright and a little bit too big. So I go back and I end up pulling out a smaller pink one and I feel like that just kind of blends in a little bit better um, into the page. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I will stamp directly on there. Um, just eat, drink, repeat kind of fits perfectly in that label there. I'm using some black archival ink, which is definitely my sort of go-to favorite black ink. 
And then I'm going to stamp out Happy Belly onto some white cardstock and I will cut that out and then just adhere that above my label. I don't know about you guys, but I definitely find that food spreads and travel spreads are always my favorite ones to work on. I'm always so inspired by photos of food and places that we've been, and um, I love kind of the corresponding stamp sets for those, and I just, I always find those are the most fun to work on. So this was definitely an enjoyable page to put together. So I stamped out today's menu, and then I'm just writing in delicious homemade burgers and potatoes. Yum, it was a delicious meal. And I'm just kind of adhering everything down and now I'm gonna go through my little pouch of um, embellishments. I end up only putting down a couple of hearts and then I'm trying to figure out how I can bring in that other photo that you saw in the beginning of my husband grilling. I really wanted that to be on this page because I felt like it gave the story some context, but I didn't feel like it looked good having two photos visible on the spread. So what I decided to do was make this a little flip up photo. So I wanted that burger to be on top, so that's why I'm kind of um, tearing it up. And I'm just backing it with some pattern paper. And then I'm gonna use some washi tape just to make it a um, flip up photo. So I'm gonna adhere this one directly onto my spread and then I will use washi tape um, just to adhere it so it can kind of flip up. And I'll do that on both sides just to reinforce it. And I feel like that works perfectly. It's kind of like um, just a happy solution for being able to include both photos but only making one visible while you're um, kind of flipping through. So that will complete my spread. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you would like to see more videos, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch my video and hope you have a great day and I will talk to you again soon.